Hi guys, this is Sir Jack ulit. So today, ikukontinue natin yung example sa elastic deformations uh, due to actual loaded members. So, basahin ko muna ulit yung problem. The steel rod shown in the figure has a diameter of 10 millimeters. It is fixed to the wall at A. And before it is loaded, there is a gap of 0.2 millimeters between the wall at B prime and the rod. Determine the reactions at A and B prime if the rod is subjected to an actual force of P equals 20 kilonewtons as shown. Neglect the size of the collar at C. Take modulus of elasticity for steel equals to 200 gigapascal. So this is the problem guys, no? So first, check muna natin, due to the force of P equals to 20 kilonewtons, check natin kung yung member or yung bar rod na AC, nag-elongate ba siya sa greater than 0.2 millimeters? So para ma-check yun, so muna natin yung deformation ng AC. Kasi guys, pag nag, ano, pag greater than 0.2 mm yung deformation of the bar AC, ibig sabihin, tatama na yung rod B sa wall B prime. So, solve muna natin yung deformation ng AC. So, PL over AE, formula. Then, P equals to, ang gamitin natin is 20 kN, or 20,000 newtons. Yung length of the bar AC is 400 mm. Ang area, mayro tayong diameter of 10 mm, so pi over 4 times 10 millimeters squared. Then, yung modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal or 200,000 megapascal. So, times 200,000 megapascal or 200,000 newton per square millimeters. So, cancel yung um, square millimeters. Cancel yung newtons. Ting may 1 millimeters. Solve natin. 20,000 times 400 times 4 divide pi divide 10 squared divide 200,000 0.509 mm. This is the formation of AC. Ibig sabihin, yung deformation ng length na AC greater than sa point 2, ibig sabihin, mag-deform din yung bar na BC. Pwede mag-shorten din siya, tapos tatama ay yung B sa B prime. So, mangyayari, So, after mag-apply ng 20 kN, anong nangyari? Humaba yung uh, rad AC. So, this is the original color, no? Tapos, uh, kanina, may 0.2 mm tayo. Tapos, may gap between B and B prime. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, yung deformation ng AC, equivalent yan sa deformation ng BC plus 0.2 mm. So, deformation ng AC equals, yung hinaba ng AC equals yan sa 0.2 mm plus yung nag-shorten kasi yung BC. C. So, plus deformation of BC. This is the first equation na gagamitin natin to solve the reaction at A and B prime. Yung second equation, para makuha natin yung second equation, kung mapansin nyo guys, kung nag-apply tayo to the right 20 kN, ibig sabihin, yung magre-react dapat yung A and B prime. So, dapat yung reactions niya is opposite to the force. So, um, A, ang reaction at A, papunta doon. So, this is the reaction at A, this is A. Tapos, may reaction at B prime. To the left din. Then, ibig sabihin, kung may force pin to the right, summation of force horizontal, di ko napakita guys, no? Uh, P equals A plus B prime. Or yung P is 20 kN. So, yung second equation natin is 20,000 newtons equals to A, reaction at A, plus the reaction at B prime. So, ito yung second equation natin. Then, yun. Simplify natin. Yung hinaba ulit ng AC, equivalent yan sa niliit ng BC plus 0.2 mm. Kaya ito yung first equation natin. So, gawin natin yung deformation AC equals to PL over AE. Tapos ito, PL over AE ulit. So, P. So, yung force at uh, pa para dito sa AC, yung gamitin ko na variable is PA. Tapos yung length ng AC. Tapos uh, area. Area is constant. E is constant. So, AE na lang equals 0.2. Plus, dito, yung PL over A niya, yung force P sa B prime. So, P, B prime, length ng bar BC. All over, area is constant, E is constant. Yan na yung ano, equation natin. Pero, since na meron tayong formula dito, na sa second equation, 20,000 newtons equals to A plus B prime. Or, this is the force P at A and force P at B prime. So, this is the reaction. Yung reaction at A, ginawa ko lang ng P, A. Tapos, P, B prime yung reaction at B. So, i-subject natin ito, dito. So, para isang variable na lang, gawin natin. So, since 20,000 newtons equals PA plus PB prime, 
or let's say PA equals 20,000 minus PB prime. Then, substitute natin dito sa equation. So, PA times yung L, substitute na natin guys, no? Yung length ng AC is 400 millimeters all over. Area, uh, meron tayong diameter na 10 millimeters pi over 4 squared times modulus of elasticity 200,000 newton per square millimeters equals 0 0.2 millimeters so dito lang guys yung i-sum up dito so plus yung PB natin palitan na natin ng ano ay balik to data so gawin ko na lang ito PB prime na lang ito tapos PA na lang ito ano? so yung PB prime 20,000 minus PA times yung length ng BC is 800 millimeters all over Area is pi over 4, 10 millimeters squared times 200,000 newtons per square millimeters. Then, solve natin yung PA. So, calculate lang natin guys. Diretso ko na sa calculator. No? Let PX 400 over 0.25 pi times 100. 200,000. Solve for x, then x is 15,951.327 newtons. So, ito yung reaction at force PA. Ito yung reaction at A. So, para makuha natin yung, ano, yung force at PB prime. So, PB prime equals yan sa 20,000 minus PA. Nang value ng PA is 15,951.327. 327 newtons. So, instead of substitute guys, diretso na ako sa calculator, no? So, 20,000 minus answer. PB prime is 4,048.67 newtons. So, yun yung sagot para sa reaction at, at A and B prime. So, so, next problem guys. So, basahin ko muna ulit yung problem. The post is constructed from concrete and six steel reinforcement rods. If it is subjected to an actual force of 900 kilonewtons, determine the required diameter of each rod so that one-fifth of the load is carried by the steel and four-fifths by the concrete. Uh, yung modulus of elasticity for, for steel is 200 gigapascal and for concrete is 25 gigapascal. So, para dito guys sa problem, no? uh, as you can see, meron tayong dimension na 250 mm by 375 millimeters of concrete tapos may 6 steel rods tayo so yung area uh, yung area ng steel let's say yung area ng steel is equivalent sa 6 wala tayong diameter no? kasi yun yung hinahanap so 6 times pi over 4 d squared yun yung gamitin natin para area sa steel then yung area ng concrete equivalent yan sa uh, 250 by 375 minus yung area ng steel which is 6 times pi over 4 d squared so yung area ng concrete is uh, 250 3 by 375 minus 6 pi over 4 d squared so pwede natin simplify 250 times 375 so 93 750 minus uh, 3 pi over 2 d squared. Ito gawin natin yung 3 pi over 2 d squared. Ayun. So, simplify lang guys. No? So, ngayon, uh, nung nag-apply tayo ng force P sa member, dapat yung deformation ng concrete and steel, uh, sabay sila uh, iikli or equal yung deformation nila. Ibig sabihin, yung deformation ng concrete equal sa deformation ng steel. So, for, your, for the deformation of concrete, uh, sabihin tayo ng P over AE so P PC times L times yung area ng concrete times modulus of elasticity ng concrete equal sa PS or P for steel length equal lang kasi length times yung area ng steel times modulus of elasticity ng steel so cancel lang L ngayon may value tayo ng PC na sabi kasi kanina sa problem the value PS is one fifth of the load and the value PC is four fifth of the load so yung PC is four over five ng nine hundred or let's say letter P na lang siya. Then, yung PS equals sa 1 fifth of the force P. So, yung P is 900 kilonewtons. So, instead na 900 ilagay ko, P na lang yung nilagay ko yes. No? Then, isasabi natin guys yung values dito sa formula. PC equals AC. AC. PC is 4 over 5P all over yung AC. Yung AC natin is ito, value. So, subject natin guys ito. 93,750 minus 3 pi over 2 D squared 
times yung modulus of elasticity is 25,000 newtons per square millimeters equal siya sa 1 over 5 of P yung steel para sa force PS PS no all over yung area ng steel is 3 pi over 2 d squared times yung modulus of elasticity ng steel is 200,000 newton per square millimeters cancel yung p kasi same lang, yan yung 900 kilonewtons then simplify natin guys or cross multiply, 4 over 5 equals 1 times 93,750 Then, simplify ulit. 4 over 5 times 3 pi over 2 times 200,000. This is 240,000 pi equals. Simplify ulit dito guys. No? Kuala siya sa 25,000 divided 5. Then, times 5,000 times 93,750. I may d squared pa pala ito guys. D squared. So, solve for d. X squared times 240. Equals 5,000. Solved. Then, yung value ng D is 24.55 millimeters. So, ito na yung required diameter of each rod. So, next problem ulit tayo guys. The center post B of the assembly has an original length of 124.7 millimeters. Whereas, post A and C have a length of 125 millimeters. If the cups on the top and bottom can be considered rigid, determine the average normal stress in each post. The posts are made of aluminum and have a cross-sectional area of 400 square millimeters. So, may given a modulus of elasticity for aluminum, 70 gigapascal. So, para dito guys sa problem, uh, as you can see, meron tayong gap dito na 0.3 millimeters. So, this is 0.3. Post A, B, and C. So, yung length ng post B is 124.7 millimeters. Tapos, meron silang cross-sectional area na 400 square millimeters. Yung modulus of elasticity of aluminum is equal to 70 gigapascal. Yung nag-support kasi ng cup is post A and post C muna. So, check muna natin yung deformation ng both posts. So, as you can see, meron tayong dito ang free body diagram. So, PA and PC. Since asymmetrical to, tapos it, this is 0.2 meters or 200 millimeters, uh, 800 times 0.2 divide 2, yun yung forces na dadalhin ng PA and PC. So, 800 times 0.2 divide 2. Kung nagdadala sila ang boat ng 80 kilonewtons. So, check natin yung deformation ng uh, boat post. For example, a deformation of A equals deformation of C. So, check natin deformation. PL over AE. Yung P is 80,000 newtons. Yung length, 125 millimeters. Area is 400 square millimeters. E is 70,000 newton per square millimeters or 70,000 megapascal. Cancel yung square millimeters. Cancel yung newtons. Equal siya sa 80,000 times 125. So, ang value is 0.357 millimeters. This the formation of A or equal din yan sa deformation ng C. Ibig sabihin, greater than siya sa 0.3 millimeters sa na gap. Since na greater than, ibig sabihin, tatama yung cap sa post B. Tapos yung magiging tatlo na yung magsusupport. At pwede yung mag-deform din yung B pababa. Ito yung magiging mangyaring magiging uh, position ng cap. Yung dineform ng post A and post C is equal. Tapos yung dito sa, sa gitna, yung dineform dito, uh, equal dito sa post A. Ang deformation of A or C or deformation at C is equal to 0.3 millimeters plus deformation at sa B. So, ito yung equation na gagamitin natin. This is the first equation para sa problem. Yung para sa second equation natin, kasi may two unknowns, kung mapansin nyo, since asymmetrical siya, yung dadali ng force PA equal dapat sa force C. Tapos, equate natin, pag nagsummation of force vertical tayo, yung force or yung 800 kN per meter, uh, equal siya sa so 800 kN per meter times yung length is 0.2 meters 
Ito yung load. This is the equivalent concentrated load. Equal sa, yung magdadala is PA, PB, and PC. PA plus PB plus PC. Eh, since na-equal yung PA and PC, so, pwede natin 2PA plus PB na lang. So, 800 times 0.2 is 160 kilonewtons. Equals 2PA plus PB. So, this is the second equation. Then, try natin establish dito yung equation 2 para sa equation 1. So, pwede natin gamitin yung equation 2 as PB equals 160 kN minus 2PA. Then, establish natin dito. And, deformation at, at A or deformation at C is equal yan sa deformation at A equals sa PA length ng A, post A, all over area times modulus of elasticity is equal sa 0.3 millimeters plus in deformation at B is PB LB over AE. Yung E is modulus of elasticity of the material which is aluminum. Subject natin guys ito na equation. This equation, ililipat natin dito. PA times yung length ng A is 125 millimeters. All over yung area is 400 square millimeters. Times yung E is 70,000 megapascal or 70,000 newton per square millimeters equals sa 0.3 plus yung PB is 160 minus 2PA times yung length ng uh, B is 124.7 millimeters. Yun, yun yung original length niya. All over, yung A is 400 times yung E is 70,000 ulit. Then, simplify. So, mag-multiply ako guys pala ng 1,000 dito para sa, dito sa equation. Kasi yung PA, assume natin na anakakili newton kaya mag-multiply ito ng 1,000. Then, dito sa kabila, mag-multiply din tayo ng 1,000. So, times 1,000 din dito. Check natin yung uh, PA. Calculator ko na guys, diretso. 1,000 times X. That's PA. 400 times 70,000. Equals 0.3. Plus, yung bali sa kabila is 160 minus 2X. Times 124.7 times 1,000. All over, denominator is 400 times 70,000. Then, ship sold. Then, yung value ng X is, or yung PA is 75.726 kilonewtons. This is the value PA. Then, solve not yung value ng PB. So, is subject ko dito kay sa equation. Uh, 160 minus 2 times answer. This is the value of PB. 8.547 kilonewtons. Ito yung dinadalang forces ng post. So, yung PA equal yan sa PC. Both sila sa edge. Then, yung PB medyo maliit lang. Which is 8.547. This is 547 kilonewtons. Then, yung tanong kasi, determine the average normal stress in each post. So, ibig sabihin, nag-divide lang tayo ng area. So, automatic yun na yun yung stresses. So, yun yung ibibigay ko na sa inyo guys. Thank you.